the things that was really great about this is just sort of the anticipation leading up to the event. They both had a great sense of humor about it. I mean, neither one of them thought that they were Floyd Mayweather or, you know, Mike Tyson, but they did take it seriously. Both Ras and Cyril trained very, very intensively. More people came than I thought were gonna come for sure. I was definitely surprised by the turnout. I mean, we ended up starting this thing a lot later than we said we were going to and people were cool and fired up. Ladies and gentlemen, who wants to see one of these guys get their asses kicked? I know I do. You know, before the fight happened, like people were texting me saying, hey, there's a lot of money coming on Ross' side. I am going to listen to everything my coach says and absorb it. Sorrell has so much energy, like he took off his shirt and he's bouncing around the ring. If I put money on somebody, I was going to possibly put it on Ras because Ras always wins everything. So how about you and I do a boxing match a year from today? I'll do it. One year from today, I, I offer some table. No shot. I would love to deck you a couple times. into me you know like I just felt I felt this like energy in my heart you know like this fight energy like ugh, like everything that my coach taught me about like keep your hands up like I just went into full like fight mode rather than flight mode and just like fought through the fear to him because uh, that style, even though it's not a very effective boxing style in most situations, just beat the shit out of me. That is the end of round one. I think I really got the price of the so far. Holy shit! What a fight! What a fight! Keep your hand up. He's going left, take that hook. Keep your right hand, move the right hand up. Everyone's got a style, you know? I don't even know how that works for this. Do not run with the fucking hands out, you know? I'm going to get in there and punch you in the face. Keep your chin up. Keep your hands up. Three, two, one, you're done. Woo! Come on, man. And that's what I did. I, I thought. I thought like I became a fighter. You know, I went outside of the the Sorel Mitzi the poker player into the Sorel Mitzi the fighter and I just like everything I did was reflective of that. I learned what what is it like to be a fighter? What do you do?
You know, I was uh, I was pretty fired up. I felt good. Um, I felt like I was gonna do better than I did, but uh, things didn't go very well for me. You know, I was not gonna quit, and I didn't. Well, I love both these guys and watching them go at it. I thought I would really enjoy the punches, but it hurts me a little when they get hit. Because I know it hurts. And I love the pain, but wow. We are halfway home, ladies and gentlemen. Pop that jab and move. You yep. all right? Good. Here you go. You got this all day long. I gave it my all, and as you can see in the fight, no matter how many times I got knocked down with a hook to the head, I was gonna keep getting back up until they fucking stopped it. Sorel Mizzy. Wow. I wanted to show appreciation for everyone coming out and supporting a great cause. Uh, Reg Charity is all about using a game theory optimal approach to donating money to people who need it the most to alleviate suffering. And uh, I suggest if that's something that interests you, go to reg-charity.org. I guess that's it. Uh, let's party! Where the party at? Where the party at, Blitz? They didn't come, you know, to put on a show. They both came, you know, to do the best that they could possibly do. Honestly, I felt the energy. I felt the energy of everyone, um, everyone in the crowd, and it really just, like, pumped me up. It was a fun experience. I, I wish I had done better. Thank you for coming out. And yeah, no problem. Too. I really appreciate yeah, that was really it. Kind of Texas is the gold one, right? Yes. yes. Not sure that he outboxed me, but he came in like a brawler and just took it to me and punished me, and uh, I didn't really have an answer for it. That's so sick. I got decked a lot, man. I fucking took Bro, some serious bro. fucking damage. It's hard in this to one. anticipate. You know, I want to thank uh, all my coaches. You know, with Jason uh, here in Vegas, uh, Cebola in Brazil. It's just one of those things like, I, I just had a good day. You know, like, I, I've sparred before and I got my ass handed to me, but today was just a good day. I, I went to bed nice and early, I got my meditations in, I have my family here, um, I have my parents watching at home. Um, so, life is good, and I didn't get to thank Antonio and Phil when I was up there, so thank them for coming and hosting it, and yeah, everything's great. Life is good. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Phil. Thank you. I appreciate it, bro. I appreciate it.